You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today sent a cable of condolences to the Algerian President Abdel Majid Tabon following the passing of former President Abdel Aziz Bouteflika. His Majesty the King offered deepest condolences and consolation to the Algerian President, the brotherly Algerian people, and the family of the late President, playing, praying to Allah Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. His Majesty King Hamad praised the role played by the late President in enhancing the solid fraternal relations between the two countries, as well as in serving his country and the issues of the Arab nation. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of condolences today to the President of the People's Democratic Republic of Egypt, Abdel Majid Tabon, following the passing of the former President of Algeria, Abdel Aziz Bouteflika. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister sent a similar cable to the Prime Minister of Algeria, Ayman bin Abdel Rahman. His Majesty the King's representative for charity works and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with virtually with the Egyptian Minister of Youth and Sports, Dr. Ashraf Subhi. The meeting, which comes on the sidelines of His Majesty the King's visit to Egypt, was attended by the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Muayyad. During the meeting, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad affirmed the deep rooted relations between Bahrain and Egypt under the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad also stressed the importance of his establishing a joint work team between Bahrain and Egypt to enhance bilateral ties and cooperation in the youth field. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also directed to develop constructive cooperation between the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs and the ML Fund, in addition to the Egyptian Ministry of Youth and Sports with the aim of benefiting from experiences in the field of investing in youth capabilities and creating an ideal environment to support promising youth energies and provide attention to initiatives by young people. For his part, Egypt's Minister of Youth and Sports affirmed Cairo's keenness to boost bilateral cooperation with Manama to achieve common interests. Meanwhile, Minister Ayman al Mu'ayyad affirmed Bahrain's keenness to cooperate with Egypt in the field of youth and to open more channels of communication and opportunities to develop the youth experience in various fields. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, launched His Majesty the King's issuance of decree law promulgating the execution law in the civil and commercial matters. The Justice Minister said that the decree law constitutes a new progress in the judicial system in line with the requirements of sustainable development for the benefit of citizens, in addition to contributing to achieving the goals of comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King. He also stressed that the decree law comes within a package of priority legislation to enhance preserving rights and the rule of law and keeping pace with the development requirements approved by the cabinet headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The minister, meanwhile, praised the efforts exerted to complete this advanced project, which represents a funded fundamental chance in or rather change in the procedural system of implementation in light of the Kingdom's Economic Vision 2030 and achieving initiatives to enhance access to justice 2021-2025. Sheikh Khalid bin Ali added that the decree law on implementation introduces a new legal system by creating smoother and more effective specialized paths by shortening procedures and speeding them up within specific deadlines and clear mechanisms and criteria. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, participated in a webinar organized in Washington at the invitation of the U.S. Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, on the occasion of the Abraham Accord's first anniversary and the establishment of diplomatic relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates with the State of Israel. Also participating in the webinar were the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Cooperation of Morocco, His Excellency Mr. Nasser Boreta, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the State of Israel, Yair Lapid, the advisor to the President of the UAE for Diplomatic Affairs, Dr. Anwar Gargash, and the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Washington, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The Minister of Foreign Affairs delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to his American counterpart for hosting the event. He stressed the Kingdom of Bahrain's keenness to further enhance relations with the State of Israel, noting that the Kingdom's first ambassador to Israel presented his credentials last week to President Isaac Herzog, which will contribute to the development of relations between the two countries. He also noted that the Kingdom takes pride in being one of the pioneers in this step, which reflects its deep-rooted values of dialogue, mutual respect and coexistence. Dr. Zayani affirmed the need to exert more efforts to promote peace at the bilateral and international levels, noting the importance of finding just and comprehensive solutions to the conflicts in the region, most important of which is the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. He also welcomed the continuous support of the Biden administration, vowing the participation of the U.S. Secretary of State in the historic step. 
Minister of Industry, Trade and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Zayani, affirmed the importance of His Majesty the King's issuance of Decree Law 20-2021, amending some provisions of the Commercial Companies Law. As Zayani noted, the role of the law in providing a stimulating environment to attract investors and large companies to the kingdom, creating job opportunities for citizens in support of the national economy, increasing the empowerment of the Bahraini investor. As Zayani also said that the legal amendments come within the framework of a package of legislations approved by the Cabinet, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, and Prime Minister in implementation of the Royal Directives to develop legislation in order to keep pace with the requirements of sustainable development for the benefit of citizens. He added that the decree law aims to develop the trade and investment system and strengthen the partnership between the public and private sectors in a way that contributes in achieving integration and the desired goals to move towards sustainable development. The Minister pointed out that the decree law enhances the government's efforts to support economic strategies that keep pace with the requirements of sustainability that's contributing to achieving integration and the desired goals goals in various development sectors. The tender board awarded 143 tenders and auctions during August with a total value of 165.98 million dinars. According to statistics issued by the board, tender board chairman Sheikh Naif bin Khalid Al Khalifa said that the August awards if reflected the remarkable momentum in development plans and the economic activity in all sectors, which confirms the sustainability of services and keeping pace with the urban expansion in Bahrain to provide better services that meet the aspirations of citizens in line with government priorities. Sheikh Naif also affirmed the board's continuous aspirations to provide value-added services to partners with regards to achieving the vision to elevate the kingdom to become a global model for effective bidding practices, in addition to enhancing the transparency and effectiveness of government procurement practices in Bahrain in ways that encourage more suppliers to participate. The Ministry of Housing announced the start of handing over the first batches of Al Bahir housing project, stressing that it is one of the main tributaries of the Ministry's program, which in turn aims to sustain and accelerate the pace of providing housing services to citizens. The Ministry stated that the distribution of project units is carried out according to the timing of the applications in the area and its surroundings. The Ministry also pointed out that the project came based on the implementation of the Royal Order to build 40,000 housing units and the housing commitment contained in the government's program regarding constructing 25,000 housing units. The the ministry also stresses keenness to hand over the units to citizens in batches in the coming days. The first phase of Al-Bahir housing project consists of 227 housing units and in includes many other services and facilities that serve future residents. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,159,989 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,103,361 had taken the second and 270,946 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 814 with 130 recoveries, 66 registered new cases and no new deaths. 42 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 12 were contacts of active cases and 12 were travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.